with Ascension Pioneers. Well, I wanted to take you out for a walk here because as you know, we have piles of snow. Please show. Well, thank you, but um, you can actually see this is a path which we're making right now. It's, it's fresh, but we're gonna make um, a path where you can make it, but you know, it's heavy because usually there's snow up to here. So we kind of find, uh, we kind of found this path and I wanted to share a message with you because um, with this snow, you know, craziness and all this chaos that we've been having here, which I wanted to share with you and um, wanted to sh share with you also the other side of this, which is the purity, the reflection, and of course you can see it snowing again. But I wanted to share with you some reflections that came to be during this period that, you know, sometimes for us humans, which, you know, we like to be so much active and out there and constantly, you know, doing something and the doing mode sometimes just needs to be balanced with the being mode. And when you have so much snow that we had this time, there's like, it's inevitable. That's, that's just what you have no other choice, you know? So sometimes when everything comes to this still point, to this halt, we're actually going to be literally forced <laughs> to to come into this state when when the pondering, the being mode, the meditative mode will be plugged in. So this is how it was for us recently with with the snow. And as you know, of course, we had to do some physical work work as well because we needed to shovel the snow. And you know, we we actually yesterday we went hiking up the hill, which a lot of people said, "Oh, be careful! You know, there's so much avalanches there." And you know, but. I'm connected to nature, so I know that the nature will always send me signs. And I always say, you know, nature, show me the sign if it's not safe to walk. But it was all okay, so we managed to go there. And we had a beautiful day. Because, you know, the whole thing is all this snow and you can't even enjoy it. It's quite challenging. So you got to make your way through. Also, in our country, you know, there's um, a lot of people didn't have electricity and there was icy snow falling and a lot of ice so they had a lot of problems here in the Alps and the mountains were actually pretty lucky so we're quite blessed because um, all we had was like really huge amounts of snow but um, you know things can fall from the trees and all these things but um, all these things in the outer world actually brought us even deeper within to reflect in this time and um, when you feel that, when there's so much out there that actually literally tells you, you cannot go outside of this time or it's dangerous, you gotta stay inside. And it can make you feel some things that are really intense, you know, like feeling isolated or limited and really trapped, like, you know. But we gotta embrace those feelings because our journey is always about the feelings and we cannot really move to the next level if we don't really face our feelings, right? So with this wave, there was a lot of um, self-reflection coming here in our space and um, a lot of pondering on what's really going on beneath the surface. And you know, a lot of people say, just because there's so much snow, the nature's resting, the elementals are sleeping, but it's not really true because for each level of creation in nature, you have a different set of elementals that are at work. So in nature and creation, nothing ever sleeps. You know, there might be a part that sleeps, but um, the same thing is with us, you know, there's always a part of us that's like always ongoing, always wants to do things, and there's a part of us that just wants to be. But in truth, all of that is whole, it's complete. So when we when we take a step back, and we will see what's really happening underneath our surface, because it looked like time has stopped, you know, and literally I'm calling this our sleeping village, because things stopped, you know, you know, except for the shoveling and the workers and all of that. But in the higher picture, in the bigger picture, we a lot of times when we become trapped in the external, we don't see really what's happening in the ethers, what's happening in the energy flow. Because with a lot of this hold periods and, you know, time to just stand by and stand still, it's actually the most energy work being done. So what happened is today I woke up and um, just the night before I had another wave of inspiration, you know, bursting through me finally after a few days of rest and period. And I just saw this beautiful rainbow light and um, I was channeling through some chakra art. So we did this, <laughs> I did this necklace that I want to show you um, just to give you a taste. So this is kind of like a rainbow necklace, a uh, soul essence necklace. So I felt the rainbow energy and when I woke up, this is quite rare here where I live because we have very tall trees. But the sun managed to penetrate through and woke me up. And you know, when the sun shines on you in the third eye, you can see rainbow. 
and I get up and I tell my mom and she says that she had a dream about it, how we were walking in a rainbow and then I pull an oracle card which again was about rainbows and happy endings that everything, you know, this new wave of energy bursting through. So recently we had a lot of influx of new energy you know everything started at once we had venus going direct we had a new year of course which everybody was so excited about i don't know i don't imagine before being it so intense that this year everybody's you know making all this fuss about it and being so excited because there's a lot of energy coming through this year so everybody's excited about you know creating these new things and um finding new ways of being and although we will have mercury retrograde now this week but it will be more like a spiritual retrograde is what i feel because it will be in pisces but during all this intense movement forward, sometimes comes also the backward movement because in creation everything <laughs> always needs to be in polarized opposite. So there's always things balancing each other out. So I want to share in this update today that um, a lot of times if we're not really integrated within the spirit and matter, which is, you know, the, the complete wholeness of both, not just going into extreme, you know, either one extreme or the other, we can then really feel in our source self what's really happening. And um, for us, it felt like, wow, all this forward movement, you know, finally, and a new energetic month began, and everybody said, wow, February, you know, and number two, and relationships, and new movement. But at the beginning of, you know, first few days here, it felt like everything is just sleeping, no forward movement. But this is always because when the new energy paves through, there needs to be some time to stabilize it. And for the whole of nature to, to kind of download it and really anchor it into its beingness. And this is how it was here. And the snow was ongoing and it kept on snowing and I, you know, I kept looking at my window and just saying, this is never going to stop. And then one day I said, I'm not in control of this. So we're not in control of our responses to nature. Obviously nature, Gaia knows what's doing best. So what I did is I wrote an ode to, to the snow, you know, and just what I really craved for was that playfulness. Because, you know, when it was so intense, you, you literally couldn't go out because the snow was so intense. But we are really learning to be an integrated being to, to live with nature, you know, because we, we lived as a civilized um, society. And my mom was reading to me from the books of Anastasia, and she's actually sleeping through the winter, which is what we're not doing. And, you know, we're, we're still in the doing mode so much because a lot of times in the winter, how it is for me, because I don't go, um, I'm not outside all day like I am in the summer, for example. So a lot of times I'm, I'm guided to do a lot of things inside indoors you know i don't say i'm gonna hibernate like a little bear and just sleep all the time so because of this because we live in a different society which is very civilized you know this is what we call it but in this society what we're doing now we're trying to find balance to still go back in a way but to go back in a way that is that is new you know not going back to the stone age you know to go back to the middle age to go back in a way to reflect and be connected to nature completely but in a way that's also very creative so to find this balance means that we really need to be in that internal constant state when we know what's right at each moment and each moment in creation is created perfectly and that we don't resist it because what i've been noticing when these feelings of isolation and restriction and you know all that came forth for, for a while you know but the reason why I always move forward so fast is because I allow myself to feel I'm noticing that a lot of people don't you know sometimes this is still challenging for my mom because sometimes she still rejects those feelings like feeling the guilt or you know being bad because she feels a certain way but we don't have that that need anymore in the new it's just feel what needs to be felt and then it will just be transmuted and um, transcended so fast so people who grow, grow fast are people who feel, who allow themselves to feel really deeply. So when you feel maybe isolated or alone, admit that to yourself. And then the truth of why you feel that anyway in the first place will come out. It won't come out either way. If you say, no, no, I'm fine, I'm, just, I'm fine, you know. <laughs> people like to say that. And um, if there's still something boiling underneath, it will come out either way. Because when we suppress, usually, you know, things come out if we do that for a long time it might be a state of depression even sometimes but today I was reflecting on my page and writing an article about this that sometimes in this isolated space and you know you see this it's, it's not a lot of action everything seems to be sleeping and a lot of times we fall into this mode when we feel we miss something like a certain person in our life or a certain eventfulness you know entertainment or everything like that 
But what this really means is that we miss ourselves. We miss our sore self-connection. We, we miss this, these moments when we just sit with our presence. And we just Not like meditate that you have a certain technique, but you just sit there or you just observe, you know. And when I get into that state, when I'm not guided to do anything, sometimes it can be frustrating for me because I'm a very hyper being. But at those times, it's like literally spirit and body, my physical body also responds to it. It tells me, don't do anything if you're not guided, you know, because for guidance needs to come inspiration. This came today, but before there was a moment of um, a lot of reflection and feeling certain things and really going deeper within because when we're whole from within, there's just no way that we can have a feeling that we miss something or someone because we always live that balance of our spirit self and our physical self, okay? Because sometimes we move too much in the physical, we, we do too much, we are too much obsessed with the physical things, you know, to be, you know, have that drive to constantly do and, and be active. Sometimes this can cause us to suppress things, to not always be, you know, grounded within. Sometimes we can feel depressed because of it. But if we move too much into the spirit side, <laughs> sometimes we might be here or wishy-washy and um, not really embody, so we're not going to be grounded enough. A lot of times this will bring feelings of confusion, sometimes even separateness, because you feel you're being in spirit, but it's just, again, you're being separated from your, you're separating yourself from your physical environment and you're not embracing your physicality. So earthly living and building a heaven on earth you know always comes from the balance of both emerging of spirit and matter so what's happening now with all these energies coming forth they're really they're really asking us to live in oneness with nature that means to follow everything as it's you know given to you at this time but then we, we're not in control of things happening you know like snow how much how, how long it will keep falling but we're really in control as, as to how we respond to that so yesterday I needed to shovel the snow because nobody else would do it for me because you know here where I'm surrounded with these people is everybody you know business as usual so everybody's minding their own business which is fine you know we, we are doing things on our own we're showing them a different reality if they want to and um, it's just how it is for now for now okay but what you can do is you can respond to things in, in a beautiful way so the whole time when I, I knew it's a physical work, it's a lot of shoveling, it's a lot of snow, but I was really positive about it. The attitude was, I was uplifted, I was smiling, I was singing, I was all these things. You know, this is what what means to live in that purity of our true source self. So um, <laughs> this is what's really important right now, okay? And, and nature really wants us because what we had this um, weekend here was a literal proof that people really go against it. We, we're supposed to have this match, skiing match, because we live next to a ski village, it's just um, four kilometers away. And we used to have this annual match, which, which usually ha is happening in another place, in another city, but they, they put it, um, it's supposed to be here this year, okay? So they put everything here, and they were shoveling this all night with these heavy machines, and you know, because of that, they weren't focused to do it here, when people live, actually. So it was kind of a chaos, because everything went there. You know, the whole focus was there with the skiing, and a lot of times you can still see that people really are all about that, the external. They're not about real connectedness, and what's really important at this time now, so the first day they canceled the match, the second day they didn't, the extreme conditions were quite extreme. But you can see this is literally showing us, why are we doing this? Why are we going against the flow? And um, when we went outside on Friday, we went to buy groceries at the town, you know, we need to drive for a while. And I was actually literally almost run over with a car. I don't know whether the person didn't see me because for some people it was probably already psychologically invisible. And, um, maybe the person just wasn't looking but i really started to ask myself how much is human life worth you know because now everybody's dealing with their cars they're snowed in and it's always the cars and the stuff and it's all so much about stuff and things and look at nature how she's responding she's showing us to slow down and to value relationships and to value what's really inside of us and that source connection which is eternal and infinite so from that space of that inner wholeness we're always going to be creating our piece of heaven here on earth it's not going to be coming from somewhere outside so when i see a lot of people who still um you know get excited about things and they ask you oh you know what's the new energies coming in what they're going to bring this year and nothing if you don't jump on the train and co-create with them so um it's just always the same thing they're bringing the potential, the energies are bringing the opportunities, but we got to know how to work with the flow. And if we're not going to be beings who are really literally fused into oneness with nature, with all life and creation that surrounds us, we're still going to 
keep pushing against the flow at either one area of our lives or another. But the whole thing is, like I said in one of my videos, merge them all into one and live as a fully integrated source being. So, okay, this is what I wanted to share with you today. And if you still have one of those feelings when you feel like you don't have people who would completely mirror you at this time and you know you don't have the right partner all these things don't focus on that focus on what you do have because from that you will heal what you have you will come into wholeness and from that wholeness then you will be able to come it's not the other way around this is how we work so create something beautiful this month um i hope this update helped you to appreciate life as it is not what you want it to be and just go with the flow with everything in creation so Take care, and until next time, <laughs> well, our love is here with all of you, so to take care. Bye. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so here we are in the snow. We wanted to say hello to everybody. Um, we want to show you around a bit, okay? <laughs> so this is the path. It's not, not created. We're creating it, as you can see. And... Um, this is how it looks. It's all snowed in. Beautiful. And we're gonna actually create a path to that house, which is, um, they have the roads towards that, towards there. So we can then um, walk back that way towards our home. And this is the path we already created. I created. So this is how it looks now. I wonder why not a lot of people do this, because it's really fun. But um, this is only here where you can still actually not fall in the snow. Further ahead, which is why I run, and you know, the, the, the road goes um, uh, directly to the nearest um, town. Actually, you can do it because the snow is actually um, deeper than your waist. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is it. <laughs> Snowy greetings <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> Are you having fun? Yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're both having fun, so we're gonna go now. Take care. So much bye love bye. to all. Bye. bye.